The other day, I drove by a Nissan dealership and saw something that made me gasp in surprise. No, the place wasn't burning down or giving away uncracked Sylvia dashes. Instead, there was a brand new Z parked outside. You may be wondering, why did a car that has been out for two years surprise you so? Surely you must see them at least a couple times a month. <laughs> You'd think since they've been out for something like two years. But no, I've seen more Integra Type S's around town than the 400Z. Keep in mind, the Integra Type S has been out for a year less and had way less hype than the new Z. So why are new Nissan Z's harder to find than a normal underground wrapper? Well, according to the drive, there were chip shortages that delayed initial production a month or two. Now, that is relatively normal in the post-COVID world. However, some slightly less commonplace issues popped up as well. There were transmission problems where the car rolled away when it was in park. While car thieves may lick their lips at the thought of that, the people paying $50,000 for a new Z probably weren't so thrilled. There were even issues with the paint, of all things. Uh, and apparently, all of these problems resulted in mere hundreds of Zs being sold in Japan in the first half of 2023. And again, keep in mind, this is a year after they were supposed to have started production. And due to this production shortage, the drive claims that it will take five years to fill the current back orders at the production rate that they were going at in 2023. So now you can probably see why I was so gobsmacked just to see one sitting out in the open on a Nissan dealer lot in some random Chicago suburb. Especially since I had not seen a single one at the various car shows I've been to in the past few years. And even outside of a few shops and YouTubers, I haven't really even seen that many on the internet. Honestly, it's just interesting to compare to when the Supra first came out and just about every person on social media had one. And I was sitting in one while my mom's van was getting serviced, maybe three months after they came out. When the Z was unveiled, I thought it was way cooler than the Supra. I thought then and still think that it looks better. And I mean, both cars are pretty similar in price and performance, but the Z is almost faded into obscurity just due to how few there are on the roads. And I guess it'll be interesting to see if Nissan has finally ironed out those pesky little production issues and if there'll be as many new Zs around as there are Supras in a couple years. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing, liking, doing all that stuff. It would help me out a ton. And I mean, it's totally optional, but if you liked it, please do that. And if you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy this video that's going to be in the corner somewhere that's about why hot hatches are pretty much the best type of car you can buy. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.